Well, what's up, everybody? <laughs> Welcome back to Come Kebab of the, the World. world. Mm. Today's kebabs are from Greece. Greece. Oh my <laughs> lord, we did everything from scratch today, all for you, but also for us, because this smells ah. Uh, Amazing, amazing, all. Oh. Boop, beep, beep, boop, boop. What goes great with Greek kebabs? Pita. Yeast makes pita dough rise. Wake up! Grandma always said, put in a half teaspoon of sugar to make sure the yeast is still kicking and alive. Like if you see baby. it bubbling up in the water in a little bit, you know it's good. Stir all those spores together and wake them up. They've been asleep way too long in my pantry. I like to weigh out my flour because anybody who's seen my show knows how organized I am. A hundred, no, 470 grams to be exact. Stir it all together until you make your dough. So then you start to incorporate your hands using the squashing technique I've taught you in the past. You just lift it and squish it. Lift it and squish it. Repeat and repeat until it looks more like a dough than still whatever this looks like. All right, we gotta incorporate some salt. But how do I get this? Ah, get it. I can't get this off. Gotta hold it. Mm. A little pinch of salt, a little oil squeezed from olives, and back to this again. Once you've kneaded it enough, make it into a little ball and squish the ends together. Seal it up. Just give it a little smack on the hiney and put it away for a little while. First, you gotta cover it up. And what would Greek kebabs be without some tzatziki sauce? Let's begin. Juice of one lemon. Greek yogurt for our base. You know, I still don't know what makes it Greek, but it's yummy. And plop, ploppity, plop. Olive oil. This, my friends, is salt. It goes into it as such. You see all this parsley? We're just gonna take this much. A couple mint leaves. Oh yeah, it'll work, trust me. One cucumber. Not the whole thing. Okay, let me start again. Half of a peeled cucumber. And then of course, we're gonna mince the cucumber and all of its friends' herbs down to nothing. Into the tzatziki party, join the cucumber and herbs. Crack open some garlic, mince it down to nothing, and throw it on in. Stir all those ingredients up in and get them all intimate up in that bowl. And away into the fridge. It tastes best overnight. And now we begin the smashing of the cloves. And now the mincing of the smashed cloves. And we set it aside. We're also gonna slice up some red onion to give it that, well, onion-y flavor. Make some room, make some room. Greek kebabs love lemons. They told me that last night. Make sure you get Greek boneless, skinless chicken thighs. Nah, I'm just joking. I just can't get over the yogurt thing. And we're gonna just eyeball one and a half to two inches. Just do your best. Kebab size, that's how big. So we get ourselves a dish to marinate all this wonderful stuff in. Toss in those chickens. All this stuff that you're goofing around with, that goes into. Those lemons you're squeezing, the juice goes into. Not lakes, oceans of paprika. Oregano as far as your mother can see. Dry basil is awesome for marinating. Some dried parsley, yeah, sounds right. And she can't help herself, some oily oil from the olives. Gotta be involved in everything. Salt from the mountains of Himalaya. A little freshly cracked pepper from wherever the fields of pepper are from. Two clean hands. 
And get him in and start wishing around and smushing our around. And once you're filthy and it looks good, you give it a tap, 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 and you wiggle away. Cover it up and into the fridge overnight, because overnight is when the magic happens. Oh, the smells. All right, let's get the skewer in. Remember, plating is almost as important as cooking because we eat first with our eyes. So presentation is everything. So let's get some of the elements from Greece and add them to our plate, kind of in a clockwise manner. And that's what they do when they teach us how to cook. Ena, dio, tria, tessera. And now, a moment of silence for the most fantastically smelling and sounding thing ever. That's enough. Thank you. So after a couple hours, you can see our dough has risen nicely, but we're going to give it a second kneading. Why? It's going to help incorporate all those lovely ingredients more and it's going to create more gluten the ever controversial gluten however the ever delicious gluten so let's go ahead and do that and put it back in the bowl and let it rise again like a phoenix so as you know we're making greek kebabs today by request of the lovely andrea <laughs> so how can i say no would you say no you wouldn't. <laughs> oh, Greek food. Ooh, yes, yes. Love so it. You watched us the process. But we're not gonna just buy pita bread. We're gonna make we're gonna make everything here, guys. As we saw we made the tzatziki sauce and how we made the chicken kebabs, right? But now we need pita bread, right? Wouldn't pita bread kind of complete the whole meal? I mean, I just live for the bread. We've got an oven right here and it's set to about 450 to 475. We want it hot, almost like a pizza oven, right? They can get really hot with those. And we like to see it kind of puff up into, you know, like a little pocket mm -hmm. and then flatten back down. So okay. what we're gonna do, and what you didn't know is that oh. the lovely audience around the world and I, we actually cured our own dough. Oh, so, look at that. You see lovely. that everybody? I see that you have, show show everybody, we have a lot of rings on. Okay. Just too, okay. Yes. Better take them off, right? Take them off. Now, guys, you seen when we started, it was kind of fuzzy, but we needed it so many times, and we needed it again, and that's how you form the gluten, right? Mm -hmm. By kneading it and get the proteins going, and that forms the, the gluten. Proteins? The pro The proteins. This is a little bit overboard for two pita breads, Woo. right? I need you to take a little bit of flour okay. and flour our surface. My hands are clean, y'all. There we go, a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Obviously, for pita, this is this is more like the size of a pizza, right? <laughs> so for pita breads, yeah. I would say, let me, let me. Little tiny little yeah. munchkins. Yeah. yeah. So how about that, right? Okay. Let's make two the size of these balls right here. Let's take one. We'll do one at a time, right? Okay. So, mm -hmm. put that there. Now, you got one. Okay. Now, we want to roll, roll it into the shape of a pita bread. Now, it doesn't have to be perfect. We're rustic here, okay? While she's doing that, guys, I have our little pan for our oven that's set to, like I said, between 450, 475 degrees Fahrenheit. And I'm just going to take some spray olive oil. I'm going to kind of spray. I'm the organic. Yeah, she's very organic. We're just gonna spray our pan. Because the gluten's gonna wanna draw it back together every single time. So we're basically fighting its own proteins now. <laughs> We've created this gluten. This actually looks nice. Look at this, guys. This is a nice little pita. Yes. So we're gonna put it, we're gonna do one right here on our sheet. Now, okay. you got one more to go. Because we're actually gonna do about two minutes a side and we're gonna flip it. So I'm gonna get back that olive oil that I had, and just as we flip it, I just wanna make sure that both sides, mm. and how can you go wrong with too much, there's no too much olive oil when we're using Greek food. About two minutes each. Two minutes each, one or side? 
So we're gonna flip it after two minutes. Okay. And we, you can visually see like when it's about ready. Go. Woo! Pop it in the middle rack and close it ASAP. We have ourselves a clean dish towel here. We got our tongs ready to go. We're gonna put it on the plate as soon as it's ready. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna cover it up. Keep it nice and moist and warm. That's we right. don't want crackers. We want nice, chewy, delicious pita bread, don't crackers. we? Crackers. We don't want crackers. <laughs> so look at the puff. You know, uh, with I'm, the I'm puff, starving. My stomach is the puff growling. is creating an air pocket inside, which is traditional for pita bread. And trust me, fresh made pita is so much better than pita made mm, two weeks ago. It's so good. It smells so good. Okay. So, now, oh, Andrea. I feel like I'm in my favorite Greek restaurant. We're going to start plating. Oh my God, and when so we good. plate, we have to, you know, make it look nice for the people. Mm -hmm. They're about to receive this. If you want it to be legit, you want brine feta cheese. Andrea, should we take them off the kebabs for the plate? Yes, please. Okay, let's do it. You Just guys, if you could smell what I'm smelling, it's Oh my so gosh, guys. Amazing. Yeah. It's all, you know, we eat first with our eyes, right? So, let's go ahead and just kind of like layer some. Of course, we need cucumber, right? How can we have a nice Greek dish up cukes? Well, let, let's make let's make a little room first. Okay. Okay. So, and uh, uh, we need some olives, of course, right? How can you have a nice Greek dish of olives? So let's make some room here. Dump them there. So we have some kalamata. We got some green olives. Ooh, so hungry. Like sugar. You like sugar. <laughs> <laughs> let's dump that in there. Okay. Now, of course, red pepper. You gotta have some red pepper, right? For some health. Of course. Ah, oh, now. Not the crappy feta cheese, the real stuff. And by the way, Ooh. I'm partial. Ooh. I'm partial so to Bulgarian feta cheese. Now, I've been around the world, yeah. culinarily, and for some reason, the Bulgarian one so is just legit. Try if you can. can you want to try the Bulgarian? Try it, though. Try it. What do you think? Do you see what I'm saying? In a nice brine? That is so good. Isn't it? Why? It's got a creaminess. Why? These, it's so, these, like, these, it's like, it, oh my God. It's my yes. Favorite. Right? Okay. And now we got to just finish it off with some more freshly chopped parsley. Mm. Right? Just let it rain oh, parsley from that. heavens. Oh. Guys, mm. now tell me you, you can't look at this with some freshly baked pita, fresh from the oven, and tell me you're not a little jelly. <laughs> Andrea, are you ready to sit down and eat this? I am. <laughs> we'll see you guys at the tasting table. You watched us make this pita bread from scratch. Can I? Ugh. Look at this, guys. Look wow. at this. Wow. This, wow. this is this is how. If I would have had a great grandma, this is how she would have made it. <laughs> Let me move this over here. So we have our pita bread. This will be like our base, right? Okay. And we have. Um, by the way, I told you about my favorite type of feta cheese. I showed you how to make this delicious Greek kebab, a chicken so kebab. Good. So good. And then we just kind of like plated it because what did I say? We eat first with our eyes. And we go, I want that, right? So there's two ways of eating. And then when you eat it, the visuality of it makes it even more tasty. It does. Kind of like you. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, guys, are you ready? I'm so excited. It smells, guys, it smells so good. Let's do I this. I can't even explain let's just, to you let's how just this do, Let's just dig in. Oh, and it's a tzatziki mm. sauce. So this goes on everything. Yeah. 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 <laughs> guys, all right. I'm not going to talk anymore because the smells are intoxicating. And I can barely talk because my mouth is just salivating right now. Mm. Let's do it. All right, all right, let's do it. Let's do it. You know what? I think the first thing we should do is just grab a piece of Greek chicken kebab. Let's just have at it. All right, you mm -hmm. want to taste it first? What's the... That is so good. It's it's like the most amazing flavorful Greek yogurt I've ever had without the sugar and Woo! all the other stuff. Oh my gosh. It's all natural. I made it's it from scratch. It's amazing. All right, let's, so ask, let's try the kebab. Right, Everybody wants let's to try the it. kebab. All right, so I'm going to take one. Right. You take one. We'll so. give us a little dip in a tzatziki, right? Let's give it a bite. Mm. Mm. 
Well, <clears throat> Andrea, have I done Greece proud? I can't talk right now. Hang on. She's having a moment, everybody. <laughs> That I, that I it is so authentic and so good. I love Greek food. I, I'm like a huge like Greek food Buff. person, as you know. Right? Yes, of okay. course. So this is amazing. It is so good. Okay, so sorry Pakistan, that, that kebab was like amazing. Amazing Pakistan. So, so we've graduated like through the levels of kebabs <laughs> and like Pakistan, yours was amazing, trust me. This is so authentic Greek. It's so good. Uh, thank you so much. I'm You're dying welcome. to try our made from scratch pita bread. Me too. Yeah. So, I'm going to take a bite. Mm -hmm. Andrea, mm. you did this. You helped us oh, with the pita well. bread. You need a high five because this is delicious. It's like fresh. How many of you have actually had fresh pita bread five minutes from the oven? You can taste the freshness. I'm typically gluten free. Bring on the gluten. Sometimes, this is sometimes you gotta splurge. Okay. This is amazing. Guys, like I said, if you have a kebab you'd like to try from your country, let us know and I promise I will give it as much justice as I can. I will give it my 100%. And Andrea here will join me and we're gonna. I will eat this crap out of it. <laughs> what she said. <laughs> but guys, we love you so much. Please keep watching our channel. Please subscribe to our channel. It's totally free to you, and it really helps us out a lot. So the more subscriptions, the more likes, we so appreciate it, don't we, Andrew? We do. Yes. Well, he does. I ju I'm just here for the food. But. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for watching. Greece, thank you so much for bringing us to the world. I love you. I love you. I love all of you cultures that bring the beautiful kebabs. And bye! Ha ha ha!